Warhammer, the powers combined, <laughs> they're fighting for justice <laughs> and other things too. Burn! Oh, burn! Oh, my God, oh my God, burn! It's fun, it's fun, like... Oh, getting ready for that next compilation. I feel like that's how, uh, like, Santa would greet me. When I accidentally, I've, like, he's Snuck been delivering. Bag. Yeah, I've, I've, like, I've hidden in the sleigh. <laughs> yeah. And then I come out, and he's like, oh, ho, ho, <laughs> you fucking idiot. I'll leave you here in Australia now. Out you go. Oh, I feel like I've made it to the North Pole, and he's like, <laughs> oh, come through. And then just, like, a one of the elves like a pistol just walks behind oh no i think they just squeeze a little elf hat on you and they say you have to earn your keep little earn fuffle. your keep they all work 23 hours a day <laughs> <laughs> like that away but i yeah. don't do that well you can you can join the elves or you can walk home <laughs> wow yeah take the long walk <laughs> yeah. and it's just there's the desolate wasteland yeah. And yeah all the elves that have like given up and they try and make the walk. Yeah, the long walk is just like little peaks of little green triangles poking out of the sky. Yeah, snow. these frozen, like, little <laughs> elf bodies. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, jeez, okay, fine. I guess I'll fucking, like, guess sweatshop make now. Nintendo Switches <laughs> for you, Santa. <laughs> jeez. <laughs> not, not the one. Um, Grim. <laughs> wow. That got um, dark quick. Yeah, really, like, for us, that was, like, launched into <laughs> <laughs> the, the sad times very fast. Um... We they we had they made an app, and it was the worst thing anyone had ever made, and everyone died from it. Everyone, everyone who, died. Everyone from who downloaded it wow. died, Tom. Wow. Um, that's what the Reddit post made me think. Anyway, oh God, everyone lost their minds. Wow. Apparently, it didn't work properly, and it didn't have anything on it. And you, if you signed up to pay four pound a month subscription fee, there was like no way to unsubscribe from that. So you pay up, you realize it doesn't work, and then you're stuck paying forever. Boom. That's how they get you. That's how, That's they, how get they get you, Ben. Um, <laughs> genius. Uh, um, so they've said, sorry. Look, we've got like a five-step anal bead process to fix the app. Ooh. So soon the app will feel just as good as anal beads. <laughs> How kind of like sexily he's sitting. Maybe that's just me <laughs> reading too much into this, but Are you a little aroused right now. It's quite like Yeah. You know, it's quite like a pin-up girl kind of pose. Mm. And uh kind of kind of cool. Yeah, it's 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 nearly good. It's it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I don't hate it. <laughs> it's I like these little guys. Those guys, God, the, those fucking birds. I will never stop finding them ridiculous. And they amazing. they're just like you. Someone's just like ah, what have we never made before? We need to make a new chaos thing. Fucking geese, goose, goose fucking turkeys, evil chaos geese. She's pretty cool. She's good, man. Yeah, the new sisters look fucking amazing. They're like such good models. Yeah, that's fucking ace. Nice little halo, rosary of doom. Pew pew. Pew pew plasma pistol. Well, is she shooting like a child or someone? Why is she shooting? <laughs> <laughs> like, what she's the fuck? shooting an old, a uh, uh, 10 year old model. Uh, oh, yeah, she's crew. shooting a, just a space just marine. Just a tactical he's... space marine. He's just. Ow, like, ow, ah! ow, fuck. I'm only 28 mil high. Shit. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense. Welcome to 32 mil scale, bitch. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Headshots. Wow. Fucking owned. <laughs> Fucking owned. The hobbits kind of are Amish. They don't use any tech past, like, the sort of, like... Yeah, but then, like, Gondors are... Everyone except the Urukaya army. Oh, actually, wait. <laughs> but the halflings, uh, the hobbits, they definitely have buttons, and Amish aren't allowed buttons. A button's her tech heresy. That is heresy. Ugh. Wow. Buttons. Are you part of the fucking buttons. dark Mechanicus? Hang bear? on. When the, f when the fuck were buttons invented? <laughs> Too fucking late for the Amish. That's... Insanity. Surely they were invented hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Citation needed. I, I need to check this. That is check. Crazy. I'm, I'm pretty sure buttons Amish are banned. Buttons. Um, buttons and the Amish. There's a whole article on it, Tom. <gasps> Heresy. Heresy. <laughs> Wait, wait, but look, some Amish, some, like these ah. New Order, Ooh. Uh, do wear buttons. So yeah, if you're, wow. yeah, if you're a heretic... Some of them find hooks and snaps acceptable, and others view buttons as perfectly fine, as long <laughs> as they are totally on it. You can have a simple functional button oh, among man. some splinter faction Amish. 
Oh my god, I can't wait for the Great Button Wars. The Button Wars <laughs> again. <laughs> um, I mean, let's let's not joke about it, but like, religious wars have started over, <laughs> over <laughs> much a lot less, less stuff. Man, think of how good so many of those Napoleonic uniforms would be in the Button Wars, because some of those oh are god. more button than uniform. Yeah. Do you think that's what they do? Do you think the pro button Amish would be just like fucking covered in them to taunt their enemies? Yeah, like. And then know. the anti button Amish would just have a thousand belt straps holding their j jackets together. Yeah. Holy shit! Like. Um, but you know that sort of like old school, like Bronze Age style armor, mm -hmm. where they have just sort of like curious, like leather, but just like uh, like bronze discs, mm -hmm. just sort of like stitched on. Yeah. Like, what what counts as a button? Does it actually have to be <laughs> functional? Because they have to hook and loop over something. Because can you turn the button, like make the buttons become armor? Oh my god! Do you think they're gonna have the advantage? I feel like you would get the advantage because they're not allowed any weapons developed after whenever they drew the line in the sand. Yeah, what weapons are the Amish allowed? Are they going to end up in like a 40k situation where their armor technology is greater than their weapons? Oh, uh, that might be. That might be the case. Maybe maybe the button wars already happened and no one could win because they both just like were pounding wooden clubs onto armored plates uh, okay. and no one could get anywhere. So that's why they outlawed buttons for the, <laughs> for the health of the game. <laughs> yeah. Because it turned... It turned like, into a stalemate. It just turned into this massive stalemate. Um, mm. We, we, we may never know. Amish allowed no weapons. But they definitely have, like, axes. They chop down... And scythes. Scythes, yeah. They must have scythes, right? Very cool. Like hammers. Yeah. I mean, mainly, we're talking about tools here, really, more than weapons. Yeah, but, like, you know, picture, you know, old school martial arts <laughs> movies. Um, yeah. You know, what, what's the time? Is it, like, in China where they're like, boom, peasants aren't allowed swords anymore. Yeah, so and they're, they're like, oh, we can't use swords. Better get real fucking good with the nunchucks. Yeah, then. now <laughs> we're going to take all of this other stuff and become even more powerful than you can possibly yeah. imagine. Um, get Shaolin on your ass. So, yeah, I, I think, like, you know, let them, let them have swords because that's mm. probably better because then you at least you know how to fight against that. Yeah. But, you don't want to be fighting pole vaulting... Um, like pitchfork yeah, like maniacs. Guys in like those little like horse drawn buggies, and there's like two dudes with scythes in the back, just like swinging into your like mass like ranks. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Oh man. Um, they could drop some amazing one liners as well. Like, um, um, you ready for a thrashing? Are you ready for a thrashing? Yeah. yeah. You reap what you sow. So, something like that. Yeah. Um, I'm in. You are weak before the star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bam. I'm into this. I like. Okay, the Amish walls. Yeah. Okay. Beard's doing? looking good. Sorry? I said your beard's looking good. God, it's a fucking mess. Like, this is my... Um, Meaty. I'm Tom Hanks in Castaway cosplay. Today. <laughs> Wilson! Wilson! Or um, um, Robin Williams in Jumanji. Oh, yeah. That. What year is it? What year is it? <laughs> um... I think either of those. I like Jumanji because there's more more games involved. Yeah, there's dice. Um, I think I could get into uh, get into that. No, you're doing better than him, man. Mine's like, but his is like, he's got more on the cheeks. He's yeah, he's, he's mutton chopping the shit out of it, isn't he? Like, oh my god, it's like way more on the side, less on the bottom. Yeah, I mean, is is that because you've been trimming it that way? Is that just how it goes? Uh, I guess like, God, I haven't trimmed it in a long time. No, you're definitely bigger than. Bigger than Hanks. Once again, very big on the side. Mm. Not so much on the bottom. What is it's this? It's almost like movie beards, not like real beards. Mine definitely goes very down. Very, very down. Mm. If you, is that because you, you... Is that what you do in the night? You stroke it down, you like... It's like the equivalent of wearing like beard weights. That's that's like I... That's where the secret person that lives in my cupboard, they come out and they, <laughs> they sit on my <laughs> chest and they do this all night. Okay, right. I mean, I'm just going to like de debunk this. Mm. Step one, to grow a better beard. Take care of your body. <laughs> stress is a killer. I'm always stressed. Yeah. Exercise. I don't exercise. Oh my God. Get a full night's sleep each night. Go fuck yourself. Don't do that. I just random. I sleep random amount. How many of time. twenty-five ounce steaks have you eaten? <laughs> God, not that many. <laughs> um, foods, nuts and seeds. I don't really eat like a lot of nuts and seeds. I do eat a lot of apples, mm. and I like lemon squash. But I don't really know if that's ever even been near a lemon. Tense. Commit to the process. You've got to commit. Because they uh, give up. Of course, that's what I do say that to a lot of people. I do agree with this one, mm. because some people are like, man, I just can't grow a beard. 
So I cut it off. Yeah, but how long did you try for? And they're like, oh, yeah, I had it. I grew it for three days and it wasn't a full <laughs> bit. Of course it fucking won't be. Like, you have to, like, let it grow. And they're like, oh, but it's patchy. Mine's patchy. Mine, mine took, like, before I decided, okay, yeah, I'm going to stick with this now. It was, like, six weeks or, like, two months. Oh, yeah, it takes, it takes a while. Like, and you, it looks kind of shit for a bit, but yeah, it you, comes in. I literally had just terrible facial hair for, like, two months. Bam. <laughs> Stop smoking! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You oh, are God. odds with beardaholic. Tom. Yeah, man. Do you moisturize your beard? No, I was bought some like beard oils, and I used it for like a couple of weeks, maybe, on and off. Hmm. But not much. Condition your beard? Don't fucking do that. No, I don't, this feels like this is more like taking care of your beard. It won't help you oh, grow faster. Oh, uh, but they've got a shop. Oh uh, right, how convenient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our special one will help. Oh, this is the thing that will make you grow a beard. Oh, yeah. Buying the latest TTT shop and using code Ben at checkout nice. will help you will help you grow a beard. Okay. Oh. Sci sci our leading scientists well, if you use the code, it. If you use the code Ben at checkout, mm. you grow a beard like You Ben's. grow a Ben beard. If you use the code Tom at checkout, <laughs> you get a Tom beard. Uh, you get 10% off for both codes. For both. It just depends on which. It just depends on who you love more. Which, well, it's not who you love more. It's which beard <laughs> you want most. Because in turn, it doesn't, you don't even have to grow it this long. You can cut this back. Oh, that's true. It's always better to, like, if you're picking a beard, always pick the big beard mm -hmm. because you can l later trim it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To a smaller beard. Yeah, I can, I can, I can go back to looking like you're a disgusting thumb man. <laughs> um, at any time. At any time. Okay, kingdom Perfect. two Tom. crowns. Yeah. You're like a blank canvas, Tom. Yeah, yeah. This you could you could just rocket straight. You could you could literally hard turn pivot into Hitler, Hitler mustache if you wanted. Hundred percent. Oh no, I love these guys. They're so this bad. Guy, yeah, like, they're that, so that's not even the melty. One. This guy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy, he's just. Like, blah, blah. Also, I really like the other one when they're like, okay, belts. Oh, he's looking a bit bare. Can you just put like a, just a blob of shit on his shoulder? <laughs> yeah. Like, don't worry about sculpting it to look like a hand or anything. Just put. Yeah. Just anything. I love these guys. Why do you love these guys? Because they are so awful. They're some of the They're worst miniatures games workshops ever. Yeah, made. they really, really are. Or uh, a concept that looks amazing. And I love it. Like, like, oh shit! Wait, wait, wait. There's like, there's so many details. You were just like looking over. Boom! He's got screws in his eyes. Screw his <laughs> eyes in. But all these details covered in belts, hands ripping out of his skin. I feel like. The checklist, if you visually, if you verbally describe this miniature, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's covered in locks and belts and he's, he's ripping out of his own flesh and he's got like screws in his eyes. Yeah, there's like limbs in inside that are trying to push out, but they can't get out. And you just be like, yeah, that sounds amazing. I can't wait to see this miniature. And then you're just like, mm -hmm. here it is. <laughs> just so good. And they're like, okay, right, we've done one guy strapped up. Okay. Oh, <laughs> man, give him a big like screw mouth. <laughs> um, love it. Ball hand, okay. spike oh. on the limb. Concept, awesome. Execution. Oh, they're so bad. Oh, I but I, I do really, really like them. Just because they are just awful. I'm not, I'm not Is that how he holds on? He tucks his fingers under the eyelid? Oh, God. <laughs> no, thank you, sir. Oh. Dude, like, if, if this is my fate, to be ridden on by a goblin who holds on by... Digging my his fingers in my eyelids. Uh, just kill me. Just kill me. That looks oh, horrendous. Thunderbird oh. 5 was a call center. <laughs> You've got a fun theory about Thunderbird 5, haven't you, Tom? I've got a theory. <laughs> I've got a theory about Thunderbird 5. <laughs> tell, me, tell me your Thunderbird 5 theory. So, Because it's right. a space station, right? For anyone yeah, who's yeah. not familiar. Yeah, can we bring up a picture of all the Thunderbirds? All the other Thunderbirds were like rescue craft that were piloted by these brothers. They were family. The Tracy family owned an island and all these amazing machines, and they would save people. Uh, but one guy had to man Thunderbird 5. So, right, you've got... I can't remember which, who drove which. Yeah. Um, Thunderbird 1 is the plane. It's like the main one. Yeah. And I think it can hover. Mm -hmm. It can do, like, do all kinds of shit. Thunderbird 2 is kind of like more utility. Yeah, it's got like a big cargo bay. And it delivers basically all the other shit mm -hmm. to everywhere else. Thunderbird 3, that was the spacecraft. It could go into space. Mm -hmm. Thunderbird 4 was underwater. You mm -hmm. have an underwater a mission. Submarine. Get Thunderbird 4 out. Yep. Thunderbird 5, that's like the, the kind of call center place. But who's the one, who um, is in um, Thunderbird 5? Which, which of the Tracy brothers? I don't remember their names. Um... um uh, Find out. 
So um, previously, it's a really stupid like accolade to um, hold, mm -hmm. but uh, Mr. Tracy, whatever his name is, um, he was the richest fictional character. Really? Even more than like Scrooge McDuck? Yeah, and so this got um, then uh, overtaken by, in the Hobbit movie, mm -hmm. someone had mathsed out the amount of gold that was in that place. <laughs> okay. And then Smaug, um, Smaug, was, Smaug then richer than... was then proven to be richer. Wow. To have that quantity of gold. Mm -hmm. um, so, super rich family, he's got these five sons. So it's John Tracy that is on Thunderbird 5. Okay. Pretty sure, because no one ever goes up there, and he's no. just like on the phone, mm -hmm. that he went on like a debauched weekend or something. And, oh. And like, I think he killed like 20 hookers, because he, he is a monster. Right. So Daddy Tracy... Daddy Tracy. Sends him somewhere where the law can't find him. He's not, he's not going to let anyone fucking take his son. They're no. international fucking rescue. I'm the richest man <laughs> in the world. I'm richer than any other fictional character. He's richer than any other fictional character. Name a rich character. Okay. I'm richer. Bruce Wayne. Get out um, of here. And so, bam, they hide, hide the kid mm -hmm. on the space station. Wow. And every month when they send up supplies, mm -hmm. they send up, like, two prostitutes. Oh, my God. And it's real dark. They're like, look, you know where the fucking Jetson shoot is? <laughs> yeah. No one can know about this. You fucking behave. Oh my god, and he never sends them back. No, they never come back. <laughs> no. John Tracy. Oh my god. He's a psychopath. He's a monster. He is a monster. And do you think he feels like he's keep keeping the karmic balance by helping like rescue people? So he's like, I've you know, I'm still in the I'm still in the black here. Like I may have killed some people. I've saved way more people than I've killed. No, he, he's like this, like, he's a, he's a true psychopath. Mm -hmm. But I think you don't get to be the richest fictional character without killing a few people. Without some dark, dark secrets. And I think his dad was just like, you know, he lets him know. Mm -hmm. You remember the sixth Tracy brother, don't you? <laughs> like, I will end you. I will build another fucking space station if I have to. Yeah, yeah. Like, you but, stay like, stay in line. Yeah, you fucking stay up there, and <laughs> uh, you know, look, I understand you've got needs, but you mm. fucking work for us, and like, <laughs> never bring shame on this family. <laughs> now, he's definitely got a fucking detonator or something. If his, if John Tracy ever steps out of line, wow, he fucking. Like, I don't know, he's implanted the bomb in his chest that he can blow that up, the space station can explode. Like, he's got fail-safes. Wow. That if, like, he ever leaves the space station, he just instantly dies. Like, you plan that. Oh plan that far ahead. Yeah, you, want to, you wouldn't want to bring shame to the family. No. Not the Tracy Tarnish family. Tarnish the great name. No, because uh, they're doing all this, like, benevolent stuff. Wow. I'm pretty oh. sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. You can't prove it. You can't prove it's not true. It's, I hate this guy. He is... Yeah, he's everyone's fucking first roleplay character. It's just the most emo... Oh, God, I know so many people who have made this role-playing character. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I'm Blade Poison Hand. I'm a lone wolf. I grew up as an orphan, but I don't know it, but my, my I was actually the first son of a noble house. Boom, I'm lord, uh, I'm, um, but I'm secret. I'm in living in exile. Uh, and I use my bows. I'm a master of stealth. My bows speak for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, God. Go fuck yourself. I just hate, I hate... It's just a walking cliche, isn't it? So he? much. Look, he's got little... um. Little magazines underneath it, like repeater crossbows. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, Let's give it a try. We never actually tried Warcry, and you can use all your armies in it. Like we did sit for like three hours and make fun of it at the pub, though. We did. <laughs> <laughs> like we didn't even. So you guys might think that we just put this on for when we are streaming, us just being petty and mean about games. But we did go through almost page by page and <laughs> yeah. make fun of the make fun of that. Just it over a, lot. a couple of bikes. It had a lot of things you could make fun of. <laughs> like we were so mean. <laughs> and then obviously the more we drank, the more into it we got. Oh my god, yeah, we were making games about like guessing, right, what does this symbol mean? Because there was a page about all the different runes. Oh my god, yeah. So we'd like hold our hand over the answer and everyone would have to guess what the different runes meant. Um, uh, what's new in Warhammer last week? What's new in Warhammer last week? Um, oh shit, someone did point out in chat. One mm. thing that we have not opened up. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, which I feel like they're rubbing this in our face now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, they call the, this this week in Warhammer. Um, we can't do that. We have to do the last week in Warhammer. <laughs> That's the perks of knowing what's coming up first, I suppose, isn't it? God damn it. Is that... Have, have they only recently started doing so calling it that? This week in Warhammer. Or next week in Warhammer. I don't know. <laughs> um, and so, God, like, we've seen all of these models. We but, have seen all of these models. Um, I was so entertained yeah. by the online drama. What? Have you seen the new thing that's causing all of the drama? No. It is maybe the best thing that Games Workshop has ever released. Oh. Look at the custom dice. <laughs> Look at the dice. Uh, oh my god. So are they is there like a an internal design team competition? Every time someone designs a new race, they have to one up and make the, the custom dice set for that new release worse than the last one before. Well, they're like, I'm gonna put the worst possible dice in here. They're gonna be rubbery and they're gonna bounce everywhere. Oh yeah, squeak dice, amazing. No, no, I'm gonna make the worst dice. They're gonna be see-through and wavy and illegible, and you'll never be able to know which You'll look at it and you'll be like, is that a two or a five? Yeah. I don't know, Deepkin, yep. also Terrible amazing dice. dice. <laughs> and then someone else goes, no, 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 I'm going to make the even worse dice than that. I'll have Beastman dice where it's just completely illegible, just random hacking and slashes yeah, all yeah, over the dice. Yeah, random lines all over it. Those were great dice as well. And then meanwhile, there's a guy at the back going, <laughs> 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 amateurs. <laughs> um, God, they've done just such a great job on these as well. I like that there's symbols for both sixes and ones. Makes it, <laughs> yeah. makes it nice and quick to read. Um, that's always a good sign. Um, oh my God. But God, the internet fucking lost their mind about these. Well, um, yeah, because they're not cubes. Uh, they're not cubes. Um, people being like, uh, uh, how am I supposed to run a tournament if people are bringing these to them? Like, uh, can I ban an official Games Workshop product from the tournament? Th they're ruining everything. <laughs> Do I buy D6 and force people to use those? Just like, I don't know. I don't, personally don't give a shit, but no. I am going to buy some of these dice because... I mean, well, because they're weird and different. I mean, no. I don't have a problem. If someone tried to use these in a game against me, I'd be like, all right, as long as you can read them, <laughs> I guess. Um, I love them. I'm I'm really into them. I really yeah, really like. I mean, as long as they actually roll and and stop. Oh, I think they're gonna roll forever then. Are they just gonna go off the edge of the table like every time? I also I really really love. And how big are they? Like, how many of these can you fit in your hand? I'm gonna guess like. They like an inch high. Yeah, I'm gonna guess like they're gonna be about. This will probably be like 16, 16 mil across there. I don't think they're gonna be massive. Oh, so you think there is like. The base of them is about as big as a normal D6. Yeah, and they're going to so be about like, twice the height. It's maybe. like two or three D6 stacked on top of each other. Yeah. Um, also, it, like I love that they even use this in the promo picture of half these fucking dice are stood up on their ends. Yeah. Which means nothing. Yeah, um, because there's zero result. It's like a cock dice. Yeah, yeah. And it's great that that is in the promo <laughs> for these dice. Yeah, don't worry. Like a third of them just won't even roll a fucking number. <laughs> it's so good. I just, oh man. Yeah, I want these and I'll use them and they're official products. I can have these and my Eidenath Deepkin dice and my squig dice, and I'm also, gonna roll all of them at once, Ben. The edge, the edge of them is so small that they are gonna cock dice all the time. The oh, slightest yeah. bit of grit on the table, oh, yeah, yeah. a little bump of like the base of terrain. Yeah, man. They're just gonna be like, well, that's not flat. That's fine. Like all the time. That's that's fine. I feel like if you use these, you basically have to bring a dice tray as well. No. Or you're just gonna Does really games slow sell a dice tray. Oh, no, no, they don't. Therefore, dice trays don't exist. <laughs> exactly. I only use officially licensed GW products, and I'm going to use all of my worst dice <laughs> at the same time. Um, pow! You're Holy the worst. Shit. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be so good. So there we go. Man, so Stormcast Eternals, your favorite thing. How many are you going to get now? Probably none. <laughs> but, what? <laughs> but, um... Oh no. Oh no, everyone on the stream has gone to that website. Really? Has everyone We've just crashed their website, guys? <laughs> They're probably used to like I don't know, like fifty people a day. And <laughs> yeah. it's 
suddenly just the the, the vod goblin pile. The vod goblin is going, me, let me look at your models. Yeah, it's just this avalanche. <laughs> Imagine all these models in a cabinet somewhere. Oh, and just and 50 vod goblins pressed up against the glass, like oh. snotting and licking. And oh, I was picturing them, you see, they're like painting and they're putting them in a cabinet. <laughs> And they start like rumbling. And they're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, and all the the vod gobbles, all the stream vermin. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, they said they like foam cut. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, oh. oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what have you done to my website? <laughs> but one thing that really bugs me about it is they have done something which GW never does. Oh, yeah. They've put their bionic eye over where their eye is rather than g-dub always has Bolted like two inches off to the side <laughs> but to me now this looks dumb because you're so used to the bigger the bionic thing eye. where the eye is more offset um and it oh. it looks really goofy to me having the uh, the bionic eye i hadn't even noticed that where the eye should be it. um it, should we like do an example it really like really bothers me now yeah like his actual eye would just be like at the right at the edge yeah, like his, it should be there, but the problem is when you get a big lens, it suddenly makes their eyes look really close together. Yeah. And it makes them look a bit kind of like a bit inbred. Also, holy shit. What? Wow. I've never, I, I don't really, uh, don't really recognize this um, head. I like that this, this guy, this Imperial Guardsman, yeah. he can go to, you know, the whatever, the, um, the outfitters mm -hmm. and they're like okay right you need a headset because you're on comms yeah and they're like do you want the regular headset and he's like no 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 i've got a mohawk get me the headset <laughs> that goes the, around that goes around the, the mohawk <laughs> yeah. do you reckon that's like standard issue catagen that must headset. be because so many of them have well, i reckon if you, if you go to a catagen quartermaster and you're like here's your headset and you're like well I don't have a mohawk. Like, like what? oh, okay, fine. We must have some, uh, you know, headset style bees in the back somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And there's all the guys with mohawks that are just uh, there. Like, oh. I love the idea that the Catagen like quartermaster's office has got racks and racks and racks of like Catagen gear, and then in the corner, under like a pile of garbage in a bin. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Offworlders gear. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That'd be it. That's exactly how it goes. And it's like, you know, he's got these giant machetes the size of like a halberd up on the wall. He's like. Oh, but the quartermaster, I'm a KD and I can't lift oh, this giant I need, knife. I need a standard issue, man. Yeah. There's no standard issue around here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll see what I can dig up <laughs> out of the Nancy's box. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> There's no well. need for that, quartermaster. That's actually quite an offensive term. <laughs> Just like, get out of here. <laughs> um, my God, oh. wow. That is uh, amazing, weirdly <laughs> stupid fucking detail. <laughs> yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, oh, sweet. It's got an uh, Age of Sigma. Um, Sigmarine. Sigmarine. They're my favorites now. Be gone, you chrome puppet. I mean, it's clearly gold, but sure. Chrome puppet. That's the last of them. Finally, the crown of pain is mine. So, what are its powers? Hmm, doesn't think it has any. Maybe a slight headache? It looks great on you, though. Ha-ha, <laughs> another victory! It's, like, cute. Could the crown of, like, the crown of pain just, like, caused pain? Would that have been a better joke? If he'd have put it on and he was like, ah, it that, hurts. That's what, if he was like, and then he was like what, what are the powers? And he's just like, ah, it burns! Yeah, and then he says, like, why don't you take it off? And he's like, no, it's my treasure, I earned it! But I think you could just something. have... It looks great on you, though. And then he is, like, wincing and crying and then says another victory. Yeah, exactly. That would if be he, a funny joke. Yeah, that, if he was generally upset, yeah. that, that might work. If he's in agony. But he looks pretty happy about it. What, he just, Incredible like, Incredible pain! Or just, like... And then the next box is just, ah! Incredible. Pain. There we go. Yeah, now he's cr now he looks like he's struggling to smile through the tears. There you go. Perfect. I think I think this <laughs> is much funnier. Hang, hold on, hold on, Tom. Hold the fucking phone. Okay. Um, <laughs> like fuck me. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Um.
Here we go. Perfect. Fucking nailed it. Okay. Perfect. Mwah. Okay, right. <laughs> right, let's do it. Let's do it again. Let's just do it again. So. <laughs> okay. Be gone, you gold puppet. That's the last of them. Finally, the crown of pain is mine. So, what are its powers? Oh, incredible pain! Ah! It looks great on you, though. Oh, another victory. Bam. There we go. <gasps> Maybe a side cart add-on to the buggy to make, like, an attack Ooh. buggy. You know how, like, bikes and attack bikes? Yeah. Just bolt on another fucking thing. Like, you know how you see sometimes you see those parents on a bicycle with a trailer with a kid sits in? Yeah, yeah. One of those for okay. for, the, for the shit buggy. W would it not be more fun to have, um, you know, like a little connector point? Like a, you know, like a little axley <gasps> bit at the back of the buggy yes. and hook on the front of every buggy so you can put all your buggies together and have like a, like one of those <laughs> like, like kiddie train. yeah the buggy trains that go around like theme parks and stuff oh perfect your space marines can and like... then they can sell different modules like yes the troop, the troop transport yes. like carriage the, the, the flak wagon carriage the repairing carriage yes like the <laughs> like the, the old squat, squat land train, train. <laughs> um <laughs> Oh. Yeah, where each like different segment of it has like a different thing going on. Yeah. Um, oh, do they not have? Oh, did someone like make a new one? Look, I want to see this one. Was that like a forty k scale? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, I love this. They're like, okay, I have <laughs> just like boom. Okay, all of my effort went into building this part. Had a lot of ideas. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely love this one. Okay, I'm running out of steam a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just put a fucking box oh, just on a some box. Just put a fucking we'll box. We'll just cram the squats into the box. <laughs> just, They'll be fine. Just the fucking box. Um, <laughs> oh, dude, you really ran out of steam, didn't you, making that? It still looks amazing. Um, God, they kind of hold up pretty well. Where are the hazard stripes, Tom? Oh, my God. If they had... If the pips were hazard stripes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they missed such a trick. Oh, these would be the best dice ever. Why? Okay, I just have to... I'll illustrate the best dice ever to you, Ben. Uh, right, I just need to draw a quick... Um, god damn it. Man, that art degree. <laughs> Money well spent, <laughs> isn't it? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> a gigantic waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't worry, mine was too. So, so we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, imagine. Right, your dice are like this, but for every stripe on the dice, that oh, is the number. Yes! And how difficult <laughs> you roll all of those, how hard they that, would be to read. That would get them up there with the shit tier, like squig dice yeah. and the deepkin dice. Oh, they'd be so good. If you were trying to make the most obnoxious dice possible, it's the yellow hazard stripe. Oh, dice. I feel like it could be amazing. Oh, how would you tell the five and the six apart? Well, because the six will have six yellow lines. Yeah, on no, it. but like when you glance at them, you're like, I'm looking for sixes. Oh, okay, hang on. Uh, mm, oh. uh, yeah, it'll be. Picking <laughs> them out would be a nightmare. It'll be a nightmare. <laughs> maybe, maybe the six will have the Iron um, Iron Warriors logo on it. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, that would make life a little bit easier. It was a funny meme. I like it. Hufflepuff would be snake bites, surely, then. Because Hufflepuff, yeah. uh, they're like... That's they're like, like animals. That's like the dumb house, isn't it? Yeah, or well, the fat house. <laughs> the <laughs> fat house. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Did, would, like, no one good was in Hufflepuff, right? I don't, not that I know. I never read the books, so I don't know. Ravenclaw was for like the smart kids. Yeah. Because it was like, yeah, Gryffindor is for like brave people. Slytherin's for like sneaky people. Hmm. Ravenclaw's for smart people, Hufflepuff. and Hufflepuff was... They're the nice people. These are the nice wizards. <laughs> they don't embody any other characteristic. <laughs> they are nice. They're like, Tim, nice but dim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, they're fine. They're for hardworking and loyal. Yeah, that is the participation <laughs> title for a house. Um, yes, they're the... 
loyal ones. Yeah, um, they are really, really reliable. They're just, they're great. They're the, they're the great house. They've got a great personality, Tom. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, oh, that reminds me, actually, I was watching a, um, a, a painting video. I was trying to learn, like, new painting techniques. Nice. And someone was painting Space Marine, but they, like, showing, like, how to do it. But they'd never painted a space marine before, and they didn't like space marines, so they were going boop, 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 boop. Oh, here, and look, when he's got his little, like, participation medals here, you <laughs> and it was like his purity shield. I love that. <laughs> and then now, in my head... <laughs> the uh, participation medals. Well done, you took part of the attack on War Grotsnag. Here's your little uh, ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> well, good job. Good job, I'll stick that to your armor. Oh, and look, your gun did very well, too. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> oh, you fired seven your gun. Orcs. Hey, yo, you can have a prize. <laughs> Everyone gets one next come on next you get one too next. <laughs> get one wow too. the yeah participation seals <laughs> yeah. love it well you, you, you work that out mm -hmm. um i've got a thing if i hope it's a thing and it isn't oh, like the oh, dick in a box yeah well i assume in a box this small <laughs> it would not be a dick that i'd be ordering um <laughs> right if you're gonna buy a dick it's gonna be um oh Gonna be better. Oh my god, okay, it's the right thing. It's the right thing. <gasps> oh. It's the... It's the Lumineth Barrel Dice. Ooh. Oh, oh. they're so shit. I spent £22.50 on these, Ben. And you know what? I feel, I feel happy already. I feel very... If I get sad, the sadder I get, do you get happier? Uh, if it's dice based, maybe. Uh, yeah, twenty-two bucks for dice. I know, that's, I know. It's such a so ridiculous, a especially dice that you can't even like roll properly without. That's what makes them better. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! They're so bad. Oh my god! I need to unsubscribe from some mods. This is like mad. Oh, what did you roll? Oh, let's find out. Uh, unfortunately, ah. people can't see. So remove the mouse when I'm mod, mod loading. Look at them. To be honest, that just kind of looks like a handful of any dice. Um, ooh, there's a three. Oh, aren't they good? Aren't they good? Okay. Oh, they're horrible. Let's roll some dice. Wow. The Silent King is returning. Yep. And despite being silent, he looks like a fucking DJ with mega speakers. <laughs> I can just imagine the biggest dubstep bass yeah, and yeah. this guy's scream being like blended into it. <laughs> um, it's a cool model. I do like it. It's a cool model. I do like those big hover things. They're nice. It's painted really nicely. Maybe he's called the Silent King because he just blows your eardrums out when he arrives. Oh, wow. And okay. So, so everyone's like... Whenever he's there, it is silent after like two seconds of him being there. Okay. Some of them have got extra arms and some of them haven't. What's up with that? Oh. Is that like a squad upgrade? Uh, it's um, microtransactions. Oh, he hasn't bought the DLC. Yeah. yeah. But seriously, like, does one guy in your squad just not get claws? Yeah! <gasps> Who's this little guy? So he's like a little buff buff bot that goes around <laughs> and he buffs your, like, destroyer-sized oh, creatures. I love he's him. He's adorable. He's such a cute little boy. He's good. He's, he's running around, like, tasing his, his mates. Bzz, 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 hello. Hey, kids, <laughs> I'm still cool. <laughs> You're like mohawks, right? Look, I've got my heavy... Bolt pistol? God, what are they called? What is what is the gun? Uh, is it? I, I don't know. I don't know what they're calling them. Probably, do we not get a stat sheet? No, because I guess they're already out. Um, yeah. I, I made it by cutting off the magazine yeah, for it's, normal it's bolt gun. It's literally a bolt gun. <laughs> um, oh, it's so he can fit the new um, Catagen headset. Oh, perfect. <laughs> he was sick of it wobbling off his Right, head. okay. That makes sense. Uh, Oh. You know, chainswords, man. Yeah, they all look... They're, they're fine. All look, all look just fine. Oh, well, except for this guy. <gasps> I don't need weapons. Boom! <laughs> Grenado! <laughs> yeah. 
Wow, okay. Is that how they store all their grenades? Each one in an individual, like, pop, pop pouch? Yeah, I guess so. Must be. Um. Wow. Okay. Are you going to also... I feel like there's a story to be told here. Are you really trusting old Nado? <laughs> yeah. The guy who's clearly had some kind of Brain catastrophic injury. accident. Like accident <laughs> yeah. Probably by fucking around with grenades yeah. a bit too much. Hey, Nado, I noticed since your, since your critical head injury, you no longer carry your weapons around. Uh, yeah. Uh, do they know that you don't carry, like, your bolt gun or chainsaw, even though you're in the bolt gun chainsaw squad? <laughs> NATO! <laughs> NATO, you this <laughs> NATO, please! <laughs> uh, oh, man. You're going to be a dreadnought soon, NATO. <laughs> oh, NATO. Oh, then it's going to be so awkward with that big hand. <laughs> clang, clang, and the tiny little... NATO! He'll make them make, like... Oh, no, he'll just get sacks of these. Just get like bundles of these. Just like a ripcord, like, like a big bundle of grenades. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I love that. I mean, ah, oh, so when he dies, that's your modeling project. You then okay. make a massive bundle of grenades for the dreadnought to like to lob. Okay, I love, I love it. That's that's kind of fucking cool. Ah, oh, and then our favorite thing. Yeah. The best preview. Yeah. This thing. Look at it. Now, when I first saw it. And I just glimpsed at it. I was like, "Oh, cool! A big, heavy land speeder. That's cool. I like that." Mm -hmm. And then the more I looked at it the more I hated it. Like, first of all, this passenger, what's his job? Because the gun, the flying guy flies the thing. This is a fixed mount gun here. This thing can't fucking aim or move. Is, he, is his job push a button? Is that his entire job? Maybe he fires these rockets. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he has like controls up and down and the other guy <laughs> right. is, you know, forwards left and right so they're playing some kind of really awkward co-op game yeah 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 yeah. maybe, <laughs> right. maybe. um <laughs> then i looked a little closer and i realized this isn't just a turret there's a guy in here yeah brother tinnitus is up there <laughs> <laughs> uh he's he's up there um <laughs> gunner brother <laughs> shoot left what i can't hear you i can't hear you you have to speak louder because <laughs> the, the guns are right by my ears burn <laughs> Uh, like these tiny little hoppers yeah. as well. Who's reloading those? Why don't they just belt into the the superstructure of the plane? Yeah, because like, there's there's no way that Brother Tinnitus is reaching around <laughs> to to reload those things. No. Um, yeah. Why is he fucking buckled in? Like how how does he get out? How does he get in? What? Well, why isn't this guy firing the turret from down here? You know, like. Brothers, help me out! Like, does a servitor come in and, like, weld them in before battle? Do they get in and then, like, the tech marine is like, no. Hold still, brothers, while I lower the, the bars. No, don't don't be stupid. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> and you pull the bars down, and a servitor comes along, and he, like, will shake the bars. Like, are you clipped in okay? <laughs> yeah. Are you? And one of them's like, I can't get my buckle done up. And he's like, okay, clink. And they're right, off you go. <laughs> yeah. um, and it's this guy... Like, is he the naughty guy? Is it punishment in the squad? And like, brother Tinnitus, you uh, you threw too many grenades last battle. Yes, you have to you have to ride in the deafening seat. <laughs> yeah. Maybe have a good time. Brothers, I'm sorry. Uh, Let me out. Yeah, just not not the place, not the place to be. Oh man, what even is this one? What is that? Uh, Snai? Tar targeting. Targeter. Targeter. Oh, um, no, I think um, a Space Marine, one of the Space Marine players, mm -hmm. they were very sad. And they were like, Tau have Markalite! Tau have Markalite! Tau are broken and Space <laughs> Marines don't... They, I'm not going to play Games Workshop <laughs> anymore, Daddy, because because they, they have a toy that have, I don't I have. Want, I want Markalite! And they're like, oh... Oh, don't, don't worry, son. <laughs> we'll give them. You can have marker lights too. <laughs> mm. uh, <laughs> Eldar have fire dragons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. You can have them. We'll make them better. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That is um, a history of lad speeders through the ages. Um, we can vote on our favourites. <laughs> I like that you searched land speeders through the ages. I was hoping someone had already but, done it for us all in one photo. Oh, well, you've got... Um, look, here's El Clasico. No, that's not even El Clasico. Um, El Clasico is worse than that. Here we go. 
Land speeders through the ages. Love it. I still think, so then we've got this one. There's four now. I still think second gen is my favorite land speeder. Really? Like first gen has its charms. I like it. I really. Make this bigger. I really, really like it. Uh, because it looks the most exciting to fly in. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hold on tight. Here we go. Yeah. Whee! Uh, <laughs> well, because the engine's not that powerful on it. They cannot put any armor on. Also, they're already wearing power armor. That's true. You don't need armor. You're a space marine. Or maybe they're magneted in. Well, this guy's got so cocky about like the auto targeter's job. He's brought his own belt gun so he doesn't get bored. I, yeah, I, I like that. I like that a lot. Just um, like this guy, like the pilot. You've got the gunner. He's shooting the heavy bolter in the assault cannon. But the pilot's just like, fuck you, I'm doing it one-handed. <laughs> Kill more people. <laughs> um, yeah, it's great. Really good. Uh, death from above. Perfect. <laughs> exactly what you want to be flying on your <laughs> the flying, uh, flying uh. vehicle. Bam. Ah. Sons of Behemoth. Boom, there's a guy. <gasps> Ooh, is he Behemoth? Uh, no, he's a different guy. Oh. And is that, Ooh, is that a guy? there's a giant. Um, although, uh, they sound really shit and puny, because all the, they have like, boom, this guy is the size of the world. Um, but like a Stormcast guy, he turned up and he killed him. Just bopped just him. In one hit. It's like, oh. They sound like shit. <laughs> like, really bad. Because last time I saw someone playing a game with this, they had like 20 of those. They had guns. loads. <laughs> like, yeah. loads of them. And just like goblins were killing them. Um, but yeah. yeah, they just boop. Uh, you're dead. Um, oh, man. Um, what's new um, in Warhammer uh, last week? God, I was watching. Um, their what's new in Warhammer next week? Yeah. And I really feel like they. They took our thing. Yeah? I really did think they, they did. did they have, have they taken any other things? Or have they just taken our name? They just kind of like took the that angle. And, and is it two nerds talking about Warhammer? Well, they had did two they nerds. Did they steal that? But um, now it was just one nerd that was doing it. Um, oh, my God. What's that like? I don't know. They've got news. Yeah. That hasn't come out but yet. Half, well, but we've got twice as many people. So we're twice as good. Yeah. Or is it? twice as much filler because <laughs> already this is uh you know old news and we're doubling down on that and yeah. really getting old news to be be a segment yeah old not news because oh. news is like multiple new things new yeah but if there's just like boom new story just in no this is this is old we're we're we're, we're, we're presenting the old right because we've got multiple old stories. Old, That's what I mean. Old Hammer. I, 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 I like our thing. What's old in Warhammer <laughs> last week? <laughs> or new in Warhammer new last week? Yeah. yeah. It's the best uh, we can do. Uh, yeah. Look at this Tau guy. He's getting his face melted by evil Necron energy. Bloom. That's cool. I feel like this battle suit has really fucked up <laughs> ending up in... They can fly there. Yeah, they can move, shoot, move, I assume, still. Yeah, is that still a thing? Probably. It I seems like that some used kind of to be a thing and people, bullshit. people loved it. Well, Tau loved it. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else fucking hated it. Especially because in that edition they got rid of the Overwatch rules. Oh yeah. So you couldn't even trap them. Oh. Uh, but yeah, that um, feels like a big oof. Yeah, um, you you done goofed here, friend. You got yourself in melee with a choppy boy. But and look at this guy, look, they're attacking like literally the Necron coffin box house. Oh, look at this guy, look at these friends. <laughs> get up, get up, get up! The, the tower here! <laughs> they're engaging us in melee for some reason! <laughs> yeah, those idiots. Look at him, slouchy it. Magoo, like a boss. He's just like, what up? That's what I do. <laughs> That's your, your pose. That's just me slouching. God, I like... I don't know what it is about these chairs. I just can't get comfortable. And I have to, like, just <laughs> constantly rearrange how much I can slouch. Um, yeah, he's cool. Doesn't he look like the guy from um, White Run in Skyrim? Yeah. Do you remember the, the, guy, the Jarl who's just sat there being like, hmm, what brings you here, Dragonborn? Yeah. It's like, oh, yes, it's good to see you. Welcome to my hall. Yeah, I like that. Like, like little subtleties of that gives him way more personality. Mm. Because... 
you'd think that if you're like a bit of a soulless just robot machine, you'd sit on the mo in the most efficient way yeah. possible. You just, well, you just like, you know, engage sitting routine seven, nine, clank, clank. clank. So yeah, mega, I hate that they're called Mega Gargans. Mega Gargans. Because, fuck me, this is what a gar Mega Gargant is, right? Every time I read Mega Gargant, I see this in my brain. This dude. This yep. is a Mega Gargant. Yep. This is a giant. Yeah. Spot the difference. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just name. Don't name it after something you've already named. Like this guy. Get this guy up on. Oh, he's so small. This. I love these models. They are so dumb. Look at his amazing nose. Laser <laughs> 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 nose. It's just fire the nose cannon. <laughs> 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 uh, wow, that's that's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> but it's cool. There's a lot of model going on here. Wow, I love it. I like the little tractor pulling his groin forward. Yeah. Is that a Tyranid? Surely not. It's got like a little chain. It's very Tyranid-y though, isn't it? Like the scales on that tail yeah. are super Tyranid. Are they actually going to release a Tyranid model in this decade? Well... Well, it won't be this year. Maybe that will be a... Um, like the the tail of a dying monster at the foot of a space marine captain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would make sense. That would make sense. Yeah, because that would be unfair if the Tyranids got something and the space marines didn't get something in a couple of months. No, well, this way they both get something, Tom. That way they both get something. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah. It counts. It counts as a Tyranid release. It counts as Tyranid releases. <laughs> Nothing again for four more years. Oh, my God, these poor, these poor boys. Oh, it's, um, it's Warhammer Day soon. Um, Warhammer Day. It's like one day a year. Well, who celebrate Warhammer? And they, every year, a new model. Now, you know, some might say it's a great chance for them to release like a new model for one of the underrepresented <laughs> factions. You know, they could be like a cool new uh, Eldar Farseer or, or, or an Autark because you can't actually buy an Eldar Autark. The old one's out of production, and yet they're still in the in the game. Um, or maybe a new Tyranid thing, or a pure guard character, or something. But uh, whew, no. gross. Don't worry. The brand new model. It's a motherfucking space marine. <laughs> okay, I was worried because <laughs> limited edition model wouldn't want it to be anything but. Bam! This guy. Okay, space marine chaplain in Terminator armor. Mm -hmm. It's not Primaris, which is. Can you um, just bring up a picture of the old Space Marine Chaplain in Terminator armor? Yeah, it's pretty similar. Can you uh <laughs> can can we just can we just do a little cross reference? Yeah. Cuz like if you're going to be making a new a new model, you'd think Here you'd we go. Make it. No, is it uh that one? Okay, right. No, hold um, on. That is the same model. No, it's not. It's just repose. Look, exclusive. Is he? Space oh. Marine Terminator Chaplain. Oh, mm -hmm. but No. Oh no, you're right. Oh fuck me, it's almost <laughs> identical. <laughs> really? Because uh, this was the this is the old, old the older one. Yeah, yeah. That's been around for like ten years or that's something. That's not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about, talking about this guy. When did this guy come out? Compare. compare I don't even remember this one coming out. What the fuck? So they did a limited edition this guy, and then they went, well, let's do another limited edition that guy. Yeah, can you get them side by side for us, please? Holy shit, there we go. Look, he's got little arches on his lights. Uh, it's like a spot the difference, isn't it? What's that, what's that meme? Like, I need you to find the difference between these two pictures. <laughs> yeah. They're the same picture. <laughs> okay, he's got a flamer instead of a second bolt gun. I but do like that style of combi. I hate that. I was about to say, I hate it. Man, I like it. But I hate the way it's literally just chuck off one of the barrels. <laughs> yeah, but look, the, it's got the little fuel tank instead of a magazine. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's fun, because I, I think you can, it's modular. Like, you take it back to the base, you take the <laughs> flame barrel off, put Stick the a plasma barrel on, it. on and yeah, you just put, just, just sock them sock em together. My friend's like mum wanted this massive tree at the end of their garden chopped down. Um, and they were gonna like get someone in with like a chainsaw. But then um, my friend was like, no, 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 we'll do it, we'll do it. Um, and because, you know, that sounds fun, right? Chop down a tree. Yeah. He had some axes and um, we we're hacking away, but it was huge. It was like, you know, this big, like the trunk of it. Oh. Um, and so we've got these hand axes and we're all, we, we, we got a rhythm going, you know, there's like four of us. Mm -hmm. And um, we've got some, we got a little campfire, we've got some, got some drinks, we're making an, an afternoon of it. Okay. We're going to yeah, have a barbecue. That. Nice. Uh, you know, just a fun, fun tree chopping day. And we're all, we're hacking at the tree and like, 
I hack, he hacks, I hack, he hacks. Yeah, you know, yeah. like we're, we've got the rhythm going, and then after a few minutes, we'll swap because mm -hmm. there's four of us, and then they'll go, and we're like, this is the perfect system. We're geniuses. We're amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Why do lumberjacks complain yeah. about all of this stuff? <laughs> I know. We fucking nailed this. Why are with they all so butch? Our big brains. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. And then, um, and then slowly but surely, the axes started to fail. So now, after a little while, we were like, thunk, and then like, the handle kind of splits and splinters, oh and like, no. oh no, they're stronger than the tree. <laughs> and eventually, we're left with both both axes completely break off, and we've just got the axe heads, <laughs> which are pretty blunt at this yeah, point because yeah. we've been chopping for so long. And we've got them in our palms of our hands, and we will not surrender to this tree. <laughs> and so it, the, the sun's gone down. Our fun afternoon barbecue has boiled down to four determined grumpy lads who want to go to bed <laughs> but refuse to surrender, lit by like campfire light we've got a little stereo that's blazing out the lord of the rings <laughs> oh theme God. tune and we've got the orcs music it's like da 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 chunk wow. chunk Holy chunk shit. we're hoping that will like give us the inspiration yeah, yeah, to like yeah. the roots run deep for my lord <laughs> the roots run deep for my lord um <laughs> chunk 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 and eventually we like we, we give up. We've got like blistered hands yeah, from holding yeah. these axe heads and trying to get into the trunk. And the angle's wrong, and we're so deep into the trunk now that you can't really yeah, get a good swing. Get a good swing. Um, and at this point, we decide we're just going to rope it down. We've, we've chopped enough. Chops enough. And we've like climb up the tree. We like get all these ropes around it. And then the four of us just like heave ho that sucker down. Holy shit. To, that like, sounds so fucking dangerous. With fucking the flyer, fire blaring, the music storming. Wow. As we like, and, and bring that that sucker down it was um yeah i think the fact that we decided to just yank it down had quite a lot to do with the the drinking <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 the uh yeah the rational um efficient thoughts kind of go out just like yeah fuck it let's pull it down but we, we didn't want to leave that. like a half chopped tree down there yeah with no one near it in yeah, case yeah. just in the middle of the night it just goes in a random direction oh fuck me yeah super super dangerous oh, in fact uh, look i can show you how significant you buying two mega gargants was um, Why is the Games Workshop stock price? Has it just fucking shot up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, this is um, this is you, you and Alex, Tom. Bing! Yeah, that was us. That was us. Uh, that See, was look, you. Look, here we go. Is this when we were? This is when we started bitching about space marine cars and things like yeah, that. Yeah, and then, <laughs> man, and then all the investors sold. They went, Tom and Ben don't like the car. Sell, sell, sell. And then um, I bought a Gargan. Uh, oh no, we both bought a Gargan, and then we both bought a book. And, <laughs> yeah. um, oh, man, you should have bought shares before you bought those things. Yeah, holy fuck! I would have made more money back from the shares than <laughs> um, the Gargans would have cost. Oh, thing. oh. Um, let's play a game. <gasps> How much do you think the new Necron monolith costs? Ooh. Because they redesigned the monolith, because that monolith has been, been around since, like, 90s. Okay, the old one must have been, like, 35 quid. Because that way... Don't look at chat, they've already started. Uh, okay, up. I'm not looking. Um, the old one... Because the new Land Raider was... You like, like the, <laughs> it's not even the model anymore. Actually, wait, you probably can still buy it. That was that was like that came out, and I think it was thirty pounds when it came out. So it must have gone up to like thirty-five. I think the monolith came out as like thirty-five. Yeah, the Land so Raider and monolith is, are about the same size, aren't they? And about the same price. Yeah, yeah, because the Land Raider is basically just a monolith on its fucking side. Yeah. Um, so. 35, probably would have gone up to 40. Just for in the 15 last, years of inflation. <laughs> probably gone up to 45. I'm going to say 65 for the monolith. 65 for the monolith, okay. So a Land Raider uh -huh. is currently 50 pounds. Ooh. Um, the monolith. The brand new monolith. 105 pounds! What? <laughs> Your logic was sound, sir. That's why we're playing this game. Because fuck my life. Why is it so expensive? Does, does this new monolith <laughs> cure cancer? Do you buy this? Do you buy this for like a, a sick relative? And not only do they get a cool toy, yeah. but it cures whatever it terrible... three wishes. What the fuck? How? How did, how did it go up it, so much? It's doubled in price. And it's only a tiny bit bigger. Like it's like 10%, 20% bigger tops. What? It's, it's insane. Why? It's weird, Just, isn't it? Having a, they wouldn't look so bad if they had a helmet on as well. As if the they had a helmet. Yeah, because Varag looks fine because he's got 
a, like a bit of a hat. Yeah. But just the jaw. Like it feels like you slam into someone and he rips your jaw off. You just destroy yourself. Yeah. Like that guy. That looks better. I still hate it. Just it just doesn't look like a thing. Oh, I, they're so weird. That's probably the best of them. He looks like Bane. He does look like Bane. I hate him. <laughs> Fucking boom. Okay. Uh, uh, right, Ugruk. What do like you want? I want tooth mustache and ear horns. I think he's put it on the wrong way. It was like a helmet oh, that he's like put on upside down. Right, that makes sense. He looks like he's having to do yoga on a dare and he hates it. Yeah, he, that face. <laughs> He's like, I'm not, it's just, I'm not doing it right now. Can I stop? Yeah, it's so <laughs> stupid. I like his weird owl. Yeah, like, I don't know. He's like, he has to balance there as his, like, rite of passage. <laughs> yeah. But, like, directly in front of him, like, this dude is like, oh, am I going to fire? Am I going to fire my bow at you? <laughs> and he's just like, fuck, mother, motherfucker. Hold still. Fuck off. <laughs> um, I'm going to shoot your owl. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Not Mr. Hoot Hoot. <laughs> Fuck it. Anyway, it looks like a butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> oh. Here it is. Oh, we did it. Yeah, this these were the pictures that I saw. <laughs> um, they're like misty smoke. Wow. Well, I mean, what what is this? Who took this photo? Who photoshopped this and thought, yes, this is the one? Well done. It's pretty cool. Graphic design man at Games Workshop. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. It's dramatic. Like, how else do you, <laughs> how else do you make that kind of um, more oh. interesting? It's a fucking handle to put your model on. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. I mean... It, why why reinvent the wheel here though you know like the old one works oh it's because people already have the old one oh of course and you're not going to buy the old one again because you already have it but this one is better this one is better so you've got to buy it again mm -hmm. smart very smart also, I think there's a rule. Any models that were painted using this get to reroll once <laughs> in their first five games. Um, it's actually like a, oh, a thing. If you download the new um, The Handle Wars uh, book. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you can um, yeah, you can make that. Oh. <laughs> Chat says, now I can hold three models at once. Wow. <laughs> One in wow. each hand. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Uh, so yeah, that probably is all those new. So yeah, find out what's new in Warhammer next, like this week, next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how this works. Yeah, I think so. I think that kind of, um, kind of checks out.